Today we're going to talk about Own.TV, more precisely Own.Pro, the subscription part of it. If you're new around here, I'm Morgul Z, and I do content creation, live streaming, and unboxing videos. Now, grab a cuppa, find a cup of a seat, let's do this. Since I got to try this service, I want to share with you my opinions about the service, if it's worth or not. Let's have a look first what it is and how many features it, it, it gives but stay tuned until the end because i got a surprise as you can see now i'm already logged in it gives you a few first tasks to get done which i already have them done um, but the most important one is download the plugin so you can either find it by clicking on the plus at the top and you can find it right here or just scrolling until the end, you will see download OBS plugin. What the OBS plugin does is showing you all the overlays from OBS so you don't have to access the website. For all the other services that you need to access the website for, one is configure the alerts and we'll have a look at it in a moment and then configure the chatbot. I haven't set up the chatbot yet because I'm still using Lumia. Uh, for the reason why that I will explain in my thoughts. So until the surprise happens, I'll still be with Lumia chatbot. We have all set up other services. So if you click on the setting services, you can set up the alerts and that is Twitch only. So if you stream on YouTube, if you stream on Trove, if you stream on any other platforms, all the alerts won't be integrated. Then you can access the chatbot from here as well. And a few tools uh, like Goalbar, Countdown, Linkspre. We spoke about Throne in the past. Uh, I truly believe it is a lot better than Linkspre. And this is their version of it. And that's how it looks. Go watch the Throne video because uh, links pre is very good but throne is another level and then you can set up your own donation page i think it's a bit tucky but i leave it up to you guys then you can see your progress well i just sign up so <laughs> there isn't much in there you can access the overlays as well from the website now with the pro subscription, you have most of the overlays. Some of them you still would have to pay for them separately. And honestly, I don't think it's worth it. You pay for a subscription to have a lot of overlays and having to pay extra. Then again, it's completely up to you. There are a lot of overlays, like a lot of them. You have five to start off for free. And then all the rest, most of the rest will be with um, the pro subscription. Um, if you click on one, it shows you a bit of a presentation. So how it looks. And then with the showcase, you can have a look at all of the scenes. So you can pick which one is better for you. And there are heaps of them. Like seriously, whatever your 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 colors are, you can find something. You can find something for your taste. Even something for <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that overlay in a while with uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, number three San Andreas look almost like. Um, but then again, you know um, whether you play games or you just do just chatting. Um, streams or music streams you you will still find an overlay for your taste then um to download it if you just go click on the button to download you won't download it so my recommendation would be just use the plugin for the overlays or have a look at the website the overlay that you like and then you go into the plugin and you look for it but there are heaps of them. Then you have the music. This is part of the pro, but not really. It just, I think about $2.50 a month more, but it gives you all the MCA free music, which is a game changer. 
from Epidemic Sound because there are a lot of good DMCA free music. We spoke about them a few weeks ago uh, when we talk about DMCA. So Stream Beats is still the best and it's free. But if you have the choice, Epidemic Sound is the top, top service for live streamers and content creation when it comes to royalty free music. And they sound great. You have all the different genres as well. Uh, you can pick them based on mood. There is a lot. And then you have extensions. For Twitch only though. As I said, Twitch only. So you can have visual and sound alerts. You have alerts extensions, panels extensions, and emotes and badges extension, which, um, so the emotes and badges extension is free once, you know, you get the emotes and badges. Uh, for the other ones, they're all, free as well based if you have the assets obviously if you have the assets let's have a look at the visual and sound alert extensions so basically whether you want to just give it out for free or uh, you want your viewers to use channel points they will have a box in the in, in your profile on twitch where they can click based on the effect that they want to see and it comes full screen so you just have to configure it in twitch just like this you can add it as a panel or as a component and then from twitch you will uh, route it back to own pro and you can select the different effects and you can even preview them like for example something like this you know and they appear the full screen or for example clean screen no we're not doing jump scare i know you <laughs> and you can add it added to extension or you can add it to rewards as in channel points you know so there is a lot to do with it. Then the free stream alerts install now. I think this is more aimed to people who stream from their console. So they can have the alerts directly on Twitch without having to have a PC. Then you have to activate as overlay one. Done. So then you have to obviously configure it. So we'll get you back to own pro. So you can configure it. You can edit from, you know, the name of the alert, the variation name, uh, to text message that comes up. For example, uh, I don't like seeing name is following. I just remove it and then save and publish. And then it will be active. And you do the same for the rest. We just do it quickly. We just do quickly all of them. That way, once we test it, we'll be able to see. Seven publish. Okay, so they're, they're all done. So next service is the panel extensions. What panel extension does is it will show off your panels in your profile on Twitch, obviously, because we spoke about Twitch. So just have to configure it. Panel style, let's just get... Let's just get something simple. Um, let's get something simple like this. Select panel style, then add panel, and you can name it whatever you want. So you do about me, for example. Then you go with the icon. You can choose the icon that you want. 
So for example, since we do about me, we'll uh, we'll choose this. Oop. And then you can do live preview. And the panel text you say, for example, the panel text you say, for example, find me on YouTube, YouTube, and then you put the link, or you can just put a panel URL. What it means is you put a website link, and then once someone clicks on the panel, it will be redirected to a website of your choice. We do so, so once we finish with all of the panels, we do save, and then there you go, find me on YouTube. Easy enough, eh? The last one, emotes and badge extension showcase. I haven't bought any, any emotes with own.pro. So let's see. Let's see if it shows. Let's see if it shows my one from Twitch. Settings. Configure my showcase. Oh, I have all of the one that I have on Twitch already. Cool. And then we do yep, dark mode and we save it. And then once it's saved, you can just go back on your account. It will have all of them. Keep in mind that I don't use Twitch as much. So I haven't filled that out completely, but that's how it will look. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? So you have all the emotes and badges, you have all the panels, and then you have all the visual and sound alerts, one whole package. Last thing from on pro that we're gonna have a look today is banners, panels, and emotes. I do believe you need to have own pro to have this but i could be wrong i put in the description okay it says watermark removed upon purchase so yes definitely oh even with own pro you still gotta pay okay very interesting so twitch profile banner mp all oh, right so if you don't want to use your own uh images or get it from some sketchy website you can pay for them here. Um, if you don't have own pro, you pay $30 Australian, or if you're a subscriber, you pay $15.49 or one of the credits because every month with um, own pro, you earn credits toward, that they can use towards emotes, towards panels or banners. Um, and this was basically it. so they they made the images and they sell them to you i don't think there's nothing exciting about this even if you get it with the coin that it gives you from being a uh, on pro subscriber uh, i don't think it's worth it simply because you can make your own easy for free just by using photo p um or if if you have Photoshop, you can do it with Photoshop. Uh, there are a lot of softwares that you can use and do stuff for free. So there's nothing unique about it. Like if they do it made it for you, I would say, yeah, go for it. But since it's, you know, something stock, I would not recommend it at all. And the same thing with panels. You can see there are heaps of them. I would not recommend. You can easily make your own or go on Fiverr and you will pay about the same price and it will be personalized to you. 
don't know if that makes sense. Um, and the switch sub emotes, same thing. So you, you can do actually, that is to say that you can do your own or you can buy packs like those ones. Uh, regular price 60 bucks down to 30 if you are a subscriber. But you can get good, very good emotes on Fiverr for about half the price. So, no, I would not recommend it. Here we go. And we're back. So, what do I think about the whole service? I truly believe um, there's a good service, um, but it's limited to Twitch, which is negative. A negative point in my point of view, because what happens if Twitch shuts down? No, nobody can use the service anymore. And we all know that Twitch is a wooden beast. So until, you know, they breach out to yeah. other platforms, uh, streaming platforms, I am a little bit on the fence. Uh, what make the pro subscription worth it other than the credits for the custom, you can do custom emotes with owned if you click on emote maker you can make your own and then once you made your own you can either use a credit for each emote um or you pay whatever you have to pay them so yes it is still worth because of the emote maker which you don't really need pro but it kind of helps uh, since you pay every month if you find the 50 percent off when the code's screaming, yes, I don't have an affiliate code. This is not an affiliate video, just my personal opinion. Take it, it's good. But what makes this service so good, other than all the overlays that you can change every day if you want, you can literally have one overlay each day. But the fact that in the subscription, you get Epidemic Sound. Um, I probably mention it. Epidemic sounds top of the top. If you had to get epidemic sound by itself, it will be for a month or for a year. It will be more expensive than the actual subscription that you pay with owned. And with owned, you have all the overlays, you have um, all the assets. Uh, so it is worth that fifty percent off, but. As you all know, my main platform is YouTube, and I want it to be YouTube. So to me, at this point in time, until they breach out to YouTube, it is not worth it. If you are on Twitch, by any means, 80%. I would say 80%. I'm still on the fence because it's a subscription but doesn't include everything. So I'm still a bit on the fence, but if you are on Twitch, by any means, this is a good service because it's complete. Before the final surprise, don't forget to smash the like button below and subscribe for more content like this. And surprise, surprise, I'll put it on the screen now. I've spoken with the community manager of On The Pro on Discord and the community manager told me that they are working on integrating YouTube into on Pro. That's right. They are working and it will be before next year. So we are maybe a few months away. So which is really good. I was really looking forward to it. Guys, if you like this video, I'm sure you would like this video next or this video next, whatever side it is. See you next week. Happy creating.